What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another Lally's Game preview video. We actually have an extended preview today um, on Kobo Rakuten, uh, the website Kobo, which provides books and stuff, uh, especially ebooks. Um, we actually have a little bit more, and then we're going to turn to something that Tom has shared with us, which is a little bit more of a preview on Apple Books, I believe. I I. I don't really know, but, but <laughs> oh, sorry, I have a cough. Uh, basically, we have an extended preview uh, of Laddie's game. So if you haven't listened to the original preview uh, pages of Laddie's game, I have already made a video slash audio book of that. Uh, you can go and read that. We're going to be reading through the entirety of Laddie's game anyway on the 19th of July, which is in less than a month now, which is exciting. Uh, so we get to the part where um, there's Father Jeremiah uh, who is like talking to her and then Jessica's like, this is, this. Is, oh no, Jeremiah's like, this is a nice pendant, what a lovely charm you have there, it must be very special to you. And then she rubs the thumb over the pendant, that's basically where we got to. So, after a moment, Father Jeremiah said softly, peace be with you Jessica, and left her alone. After a few more moments of prayer... Jessica slipped the chain back over her head and rose from the pew. As per her usual routine, she went to one of the single hospital restrooms. She locked the door and walked to the small mirror above the sink. She inspected the dark circles under her eyes and the paleness of her delicate skin. Some might think she was lovely, but the truth was she looked frailer each day. This was my theory, I think. I think it was everyone's theory that the pendant may be... Like, like she may be scraping the pendant on the patients, um, which is like curing them, but I feel like it's going to make her become more frail, and so she is going to lose all of her energy, her life force. Being lovely was once all she had ever wanted. She could feel the weakness take over her body with each child she helped, with each scrape of the pendant. She wore a black sweatshirt and black pants, and even black sneakers. Black wasn't a welcoming colour, it kept people away from her. It helped her remember that she wasn't there to enjoy life, but had to stay focused on her purpose. Interesting, so this is her... She, she's like full on believing that this is her purpose. Not to live well, but to make others live well. Uh, like, to help others. That's kind of cool. From her pant pocket, she re removed a compact powder. She opened the lid and patted the soft applicator to the powder and, drop, and dotted her face with the concealer. It was pretty soft ivory that gave her a fresher look. After she put the compact away, she pinched her cheekbones to give herself a little colour. Her eyelashes were naturally dark and thick and her lips full and pretty. When she used to smile, people would smile back at her and be interested in what she said. Jessica used to feel that certain things were important, like how she looked, the best clothes, the coolest friends, the cutest boys, but they actually weren't as important as she had once thought. Now everything was different, and she never smiled unless she had to. Interesting. Jessica left the bathroom to return to work. The lights were dimmed for the evening and the staff had quieted down. As she pulled the mop and rolling pail from the cleaning closet, she heard the faint sound of cartoons playing nearby. Setting her mop aside, Jessica followed the sound to a new patient's room. A little boy with brown hair was curled up on his side, asleep, holding a green stuffed elephant. He was alone. Jessica turned to glance behind her and saw no one looking in her direction. She walked quietly into the room and pulled her chain over her, her head, grasping the pendant. She slipped her knife out of her back pocket and opened the blade. If someone walked in, they'd think she was trying to hurt him. No, she would never dream about hurting anyone. She wanted to help him in a way only she could. She never told anyone about her purpose of helping those who were sick. Others wouldn't be able to understand. She hadn't understood, either, until she received the shock of her life, that she was no longer the girl she had once been. Beside the bed of the little boy, blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah, that's the end. Okay. So, nice little kind of addition there. Uh, could this, could this little boy represent the crying child? It, it might. <laughs> or Gregory. Um, probably not. It's just a little boy with a, a green stuffed elephant. Um, yeah, not much else came from that apart from this really feels like it's Jessica's purpose in life. And I'm wondering what kind of, what made her change her lifestyle. I'm guessing the pendant. I'm guessing the pendant. She found the pendant or she was giving the pendant or something. 
and it kind of like hypnotized her into thinking that this is her one purpose in life to help other people using the pendant and to drain her life force because of it this is a cool concept for a story i'm excited to see where it goes this isn't the end though there is more of a preview on ibooks or apple books or whatever it is let's go over there and have a look Okay, now I'm really, really sorry, but this is the best quality we're going to get. Uh, so I, I do apologize about that, but I'll be reading it, so you don't really even have to look at the screen if you don't want to. Um, okay, if the... Beside the bed of the little boy. Here we go. Jessica began scraping roughly at the pendant with her pocket knife. Little shavings of silver drifted down on the boy as he slept. As she scraped, the, her chest seemed to tighten. Her, sorry, her pulse slowed and her breathing became shallow. These feelings in her body were how she knew she was helping this little boy heal. When she felt it was enough, she slid the chain back over her head, and pendant and the pendant once again under her shirt. Uh, closed the blade and put the pocket knife away. The little boy blinked his eyes open. Blue eyes gazed at her with interest. Are you an angel? He whispered. No, she whispered back. I'm no angel. Go back to sleep. But I'm not sleepy. Jessica's uh, uh, lips twitched. Your eyes look pretty sleepy to me. I think if you close your eyes and count sheep, you'll so you'll get the rest you'll need to make yourself strong. He scrunched up his nose. Sheep? Why sheep? Okay, what would you like to count then? I think I want to count... Elephants. I like green elephants. Okay, you can count elephants. Go ahead, close your eyes and count. The little boy closed his eyes as he said, One green elephant, two green elephants, three green elephants. Soon he drifted back to sleep. Jessica turned to leave and nearly stumbled as a wave of weakness washed over her. Something skittered across the floor. She held on to the door frame and balanced herself as the faint... as the... The something feeling, faintening, frightening feeling. I don't know what this word is, I'm sorry. As the something feeling went away, she licked her dry lips and spotted a raised, uh, a rusted spring just by the doorway. I'm so sorry that I can't read this properly. Uh, her eyes widened. She quickly uh, snatched up the spring and walked out of the room to finish her work for the evening. Jessica sat alone at a lab table in science and engineering class at West Wilson High School. Interesting. Engineering. It, uh, so, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's just process this, right? There was, a, there was a rusty spring. Huh. And she took it. So this is like, this is reminding me of Eleanor, Eleanor a lot because we know this is the Eleanor pendant. Is Eleanor back? Did Eleanor take an old Jessica body and replace herself you know you know in like to be beautiful at the end when um Eleanor like takes Sarah's body and runs away with it did she do the same to Jessica and now no because it's Jessica's consciousness and she's like she still has memories and stuff it's not Eleanor <laughs> this is weird I don't know what to think of this because there's like there's still science and engineering class, which we're going to get onto, and there's like metal, there's scrap metal still. This is weird. This is weird. Jessica sat alone at the lab table in science and engineering class in West Wilson High School. She preferred sitting alone, but it always seemed to happen naturally. No one dared to sit next to the weird girl who barely spoke, who barely participated in their world. She felt tired and distant. Uh, yeah, okay. Mrs. Willoughby... Is that yeah? Mrs. Willoughby was droning it on, or droning on about a new project. And if she let herself, Jessica dr could drift off into another place in her mind, away from this present reality. She wasn't sure why she continued to go to school. Maybe it was to keep up the presence. Uh, huh? <laughs> her old life was now far behind her. There really was nothing here for her other than. She didn't want to make things difficult by drawing attention to herself by missing school or even getting bad grades. She really could do without the many secrets, oh sorry, the many scents of perfume, body colour, and, oh, body colour? That's weird. Body odour 
and junk food that surrounded her every day. The boring lectures, the teenage gossip, the stares from searchers and students. Sorry, teachers and students. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult to read. I'm sorry, this is all we've got. <laughs> but it's enough, I'm sure. Uh, and not to mention the overall loudness of school. Pounding feet, yelling voices, uh, slamming lockers, music playing, uh, cursing, crying and laughing. So much noise. So many constant reminders of kids her age who were natural with friends. Or normal with friends. Teenage problems and families at home who loved them even if they didn't always remember to be grateful for them. Jessica had a home once. She'd had a family. She'd had everything. And one day she gave it all up by making the wrong choice. Oh. She made the wrong choice? If there was one thing Jessica had... Um, had something in her life. It was that, or learnt in her life, sorry. It was that some choices couldn't be re reversed and the only thing to do was move forward the best that she could. Look, it's the creepy girl, a student whispered behind her. Someone giggled. She hardly speaks. What's the matter with her? Another girl wanted to know. She's like a mannequin who barely moves. Mark Johnson says she creeps around the graveyard. Oh my gosh, like a freaking zombie. Who would have thought West Wilson High would have its very own walking dead? Jessica didn't say a word. She'd heard it all before. Zombie girl. Mannequin. Dark witch. The walking undead. Although she did her best not to draw attention to herself, she still did. Just not the kind of attention she used to receive. She'd become the target of mean go gossip, teasing, and sometimes pranks. Overall, she was a loner. A girl who was often avoided as she walked school hallways or sat in the cafeteria at lunch, which served her just fine. The more she was avoided, the easier it was to check out the present high school reality. Um, there were a few more whispers from the girls before something small hit the back of her head and dropped to the floor. More laughs. Uh, correct something cracked it even some laughs from the surrounding students jessica's something her hair down with her this is so difficult to read with her hand unbothered girls mrs willoughby scolded is there a problem mrs willoughby was on the younger side as a teacher she wore dark rimmed glasses and often sported a black ponytail um sported a black ponytail she was one of those teachers who spoke with her hands and was eager for class participation. She seemed to leave Jessica alone, though. One of the girls cleared her throat. No problem, Mrs. Willoughby. I would hope not. I think you girls would rather be out with your friends at lunch than helping me clean up the science lab today. No, we're good, Mrs. Willoughby. Thank you. You are so kind. Now may I continue without being r rudely interrupted? Yes, Mrs. Willoughby. The girls answered together. At the lab table next to her, a boy picked up the usual eraser that had bounced off Jessica's head. He tossed it back at the girls. Real mature, he muttered. What's his problem? The girl whispered, annoyed. He's new. He doesn't know the reality of zombie girl. Uh, Jessica glanced at the boy and then look, looked away. He was indeed new to the school. Okay, class, choose your partners. Mrs. Willoughby announced with a clap of her hands. Make sure to choose someone you know you can get to, uh, the work accomplished with instead of someone to goof around with until the last minute. This will be 50% of your quarter grade, so make it good. Jessica blinked. Choose your partners? What did she miss? The new boy stood and came to her table. Hi, he said. Want to be partners on the project? Jessica swallowed hard. She supposed she had to. It wasn't like she'd get another offer. She nodded. He sat next to her in the empty chair. I'm Robert. Jessica. Wait, Robert? Oh, no, no, maybe not. Okay. For some reason, for some reason, I thought Robert was the name of the boy that we, that we saw right at the beginning of the story. I was like, that, that would have been weird. Jessica. This project is going to be kind of cool, huh? Jessica slowly nodded, unsure what it was about. She hadn't been paying attention. Robert had an athletic build build with something hair, hazel eyes, and golden skin. He wore a pale blue 
coloured t-shirt and faded jeans. There was a something leather bracelet, bracelet, a leather bra bracelet that can't be right <laughs> on his right wrist. He was the kind of boy from whom she would have wanted attention in her old life. Now she wished she was invincible or invisible. Uh, I transferred from out the town. He continued. My dad is an engineer and got a new job here. He was excited about this t class for me. Robert pushed his hair back with his hand. Were you excited? Jessica flinched. What, what was she doing? She was supposed to keep to herself. Yeah, it's fun, you know, building stuff. But this will be my first time in a class like this. Jessica, uh, how, how much is left? Jessica nodded. She'd used to think building stuff was fun too. These girls were acting dumb. He'd said you quietly with a shrug of his shoulders. There were girls like that in my other school. I never hung out with them. Just mean to everyone for no reason. They think it's cool. I guess when it's not. Doesn't bother me. He lifted his eyebrows. Really? That's cool. Most people wouldn't say that. Then he smiled. I can't believe we get to build our own mini robot. Jessica stared off in the distance. Oh, perfect. Uh, after school, Jessica was... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Jessica was something at, at a table in the... What does that say? Something at a table in the school courtyard waiting for Robert. They, they'd had a couple of class sessions to plan but the bot project and decided to make a mini rolling bot that carried items on its back and it was controlled with a remote. The catch was that they had to have the tray lift up and down. I, I don't think I'm reading this right, I'm so sorry. Robert had taken apart an old remote control car and discovered the components to make their bot active. Okay, what I'm gathering from this is... Look, I'm, I'm so sorry that I can't read this properly. This is very low quality, I know, and it's going to be even lower quality on the video. I'm sorry, I can't really do much about it. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, what I'm getting from this is that essentially Jessica has met this this boy called Robert who is against bullies and defended her and now they're partners they're gonna make a robot it kind of gives me the breaking wheel vibes where they're in robotics class uh, and they have like remote controls and stuff I wonder if it's gonna be a similar premise I don't think it will be because it's gonna be a lot more focused on the pendant but this is this is an interesting setup to the story I cannot wait to read the full thing when it comes out next month um, so yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.